so what I've got here is basically I'm looking to make a plate for an engine mount and I'm wanting to use these four bolts here um, which are at a funny sort of offset if you like to try and get to try and measure it and then transfer those measurements onto the plate it's quite tricky if you're trying to measure with a vernier you know trying to square that off to get your measurements like that you can do it but it's pretty long winded and you never get it exactly right you end up always having to like drill one hole out slightly bigger or over one out and then um, you basically end up with like yeah one big hole little bowl flopping around no fun for anyone so I've got a little trick um, of how you can just trace that exact pattern of whatever it is you're doing onto either straight onto a piece of steel or I usually do it onto a piece of cardboard first and then you can cut out the exact shape you need because this is an, an odd shape because we've got to keep this um, hole uncovered here so the plate needs to come down onto this one and then like that so I'll show you the trick right first thing you're going to need is uh, four bolts or have many for what you're doing if it's just two positions you're trying to trace but it's good to you'll, you'll want to make up a load of these after uh, you've done with it because it's just such a handy trick for um, doing loads of different jobs but I'm using four bolts to bolt this plate on so four with the same thread and then just cut the head off it. Now what I'm going to do is just grind the end of that to a point so I'd recommend that you definitely do this in a pillar drill and have both hands on the angle grinder but you can do it with a cordless drill and a grinder if you're not really confident with power tools having one going in each hand is uh, never a good idea I'm just going to rough out my cardboard Right, so that's my uh, rough template. We'll square it up once it's uh, on the steel. So now you're just gonna screw in your pins. You wanna try and get them so they're all level. And uh, this really helps when uh, a lot of the time you'll have these uh, faces that are set set in um, so that face might be set in in comparison to that face so you can just run a longer uh, bolt until you've got everything level at the front and then take your uh, mark so you've got all them in so what I do now is I'm gonna eyeball the bottom edge of that so that it's kind of square push one on until I've got it on push the other one on push that one on alright so you can see I've got my uh, four marks on there if you were just doing two like this and you wanted to make a bracket across those two you could actually just put a piece of steel straight on tap it with a hammer, locate it back on its mark you've just made, tap the other end and it will give you a, an exact mark but when you've got more than two that becomes, becomes, tri that becomes tricky because you might not get one quite lined up when you hit the other so it's easier just to get it onto a piece of card and then um, do it from there.
All right, so the tape is just holding this in place so it doesn't move when I do the punch marks. And then you're just going to use the little pinholes as a guide for the centre punch. And then we can um, square up everything on the rest of the plate. Had a little whoopsie with the plasma cutter there. This is uh, too thin for you know a, a base for an engine mount. I would do this at five mil normally, but I don't have any five mil. And this is only going in the bin anyway. I'm just doing it to uh, to show you the trick. So now I'm going to drill it out. Drill it with a pillar drill or just hand drill, whatever you got. The moment of truth, will it go on there? Oh, like a glove. All right, so that's it for uh, my little tip on how to trace your funny sort of stud patterns. Um, might seem a little bit long-winded for the first one, but I guarantee that if you're into doing this sort of work, um, then if you make yourself a set of these, you will use them at some point. Um, there's literally loads of uses for them, so well worth having in the toolbox. So that's it for this one. Cheers for watching. See you next time.